What's up guys? Eric, I'm out here with the tracks of Sledge. I got some new M2C parts on here. Very excited about this. Uh, something we've all been waiting for. First of all, I got a uh, big shout out to a TMT Bodies. Uh, can sent this out to me a while ago for the Creighton, but I decided to fit it to the Sledge. I just had to do a little bit of engineering to uh, fit that cage in there to get the uh, clipless body system. I just think it looks really cool and hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna last. I was able to get the roof skids on there and uh, these little pieces back here. I just had to kind of dremel some stuff down to uh, make it work. But I'll show you the inside real quick. Here's a quick shot of the inside. Again, I just had to do some dremeling and some uh, engineering to get this uh, inner cage in here, but it worked, it fit nice. So hopefully it's gonna be a nice sturdy body for the sledge because the, the uh, stock body was completely um, annihilated. <laughs> it just, it basically fell apart in my hands once I took this cage out. But the exciting thing is this new M2C uh, motor mount. This is a prototype motor mount, reverse motor mount so that you can fit the uh, big horsepower cans in here. This is a 4092, a 1480 KV. I'm on a 23 tooth pinion with a uh, 46 Traxxas Spur. It also has an awesome uh, support back here for the end bell that's completely adjustable. Also, uh, M2C has made an ESC plate that you can mount on top of the center diff or down at the bottom of the chassis, which is what I have here. Plus they made a plate for the receiver box up here, which you can just use in a, like the large armor receiver box. M2C also has the regular motor mount where you can run the uh, stock size motor up front. But if you want the big block, you have to get the reverse, set this sucker up and, uh, and you're ready to go. I decided to try out these backflip LPs. I put fresh uh, 80 weight oil in all the shocks. They were starting to get kind of slow. I do got aluminum uh, caps on here and also Basher Queen tires. A big shout out to a Kimberly from Basher Queen. Again, you got the beautiful M2C chassis right here, which is still perfectly straight after all the insane hammerings this truck has had testing that chassis out, which it is available. I'll put a link in the description for all the M2C parts that are available for this thing if you just want to check them out. Anyway, we're going to get for a quick run, see what's up. Hey guys, this thing definitely has some grunt now for sure. A lot more torque. Barely made that. <laughs> I almost popped off the body. Another brutal chassis slap. Hey, knocked the wing clean off of it too. I say you know this uh, sucker's taking some force when it hits the ground. Truck's still good, I just gotta keep the body and the wing on it. Guys, let's do the old loop-de-loop. -loop. So far, guys, loving this new setup in a sledge with the M2C reverse motor mount. Running this big 4092. This thing has serious power. And uh, I was concerned about the diffs in this truck. Uh, the front and rear diffs in this thing are completely untouched. 
Uh, I haven't even opened them up since the truck was new. I did uh, repack the center with some 20 million, but the front and the rear are completely stock still. I haven't even touched them, and so far the gears uh, seem like they're holding up. I said that was the main concern I had with this bigger motor was the uh, the gears I was stripping out, but uh, so far she's uh, holding up nice. Guys, this thing has so much power with that 4092 in it. It's crazy. Almost went over the edge. <laughs> oh, that was a killer jump. She floated forever. Guys, this is one tough truck. All right, guys, that's gonna be it to the test of the M2C Racing Reverse Motor Mount. Uh, running this big 4092 1480 this thing has loads of power a lot more power than the stock setup big shout out to mitch and avery looper for their innovation to uh, create new things uh, for these trucks you can customize them put the power systems in it that you want you're not restricted whatsoever by the uh, by the company designs and big thanks again to can from tmt bodies this sucker held uh, perfect no cracks no breaks of course I had a hard time keeping it on the truck at times on the hard landings but that's just the design of the body mount system that Traxxas did uh, the M2C chassis on this thing has took a beating. It's still perfectly straight. Hope I can catch this in the camera. I mean, this thing is an absolute tank. I haven't broke anything on it. So again, big thanks uh, and shout out to M2C Racing. All right, guys, until next time, RC Duty One. Peace out.